So today we've uh, taken the chance to bring the boat down to Braunston uh, for a little weekend cruise. Uh, it's the 4th of July and the pubs are allowed to open from today. Yay. We've got a, a booking at a table uh, at the uh, Boathouse pub at Braunston and uh, we'll see how it goes. Yep. And um, we just want to say at this point that uh, we're very grateful to all our subscribers. We have over a thousand now. Yes. <laughs> so uh, never Thank thought you we'd very get much. there, but uh, we have, and we're very grateful. And as usual, we love reading everybody's comments and that about our um, narrowboat journeys that we're having. And um, we look forward to many, many more. Yeah. So we're going to catch up with uh, what we were doing uh, last June uh, as we continue our trip around the Leicester Ring. Mm which was in not as good weather as what we've got today. <laughs> no, uh, rain was the, uh, the main theme of that trip, wasn't it? it which was. caused the flooding, which caused the, the yeah. rivers to, to close and all the rest of it. A uh, bit of excitement this week. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a couple of exciting uh, incidents uh, you'll see presently. Um, hope you enjoy. See you soon. See you soon. Well, here we are, Sunday morning, nice and sunny, no rain. Just need a day or two more like this and uh, hopefully things will have settled down and we can get on our way. So this is the part of the trend that we've got to come up. Uh, you can see, well not see, over there, it's nearly breached. Boats are pinned in. Hopefully it doesn't really get much higher. Uh, I think we've got enough wine on board. I mean water. So uh, I've just come up with blue. There he is. Just to assess. This is the difficult bit here coming up. So this looks a bit different than when we came up. You can see where the rivers come over. Just walking through with blue. Come on, blue. Not easy filming, walking the dark and not falling in the river. So this is the bit that's going to be tricky. It's can only go through the narrow bit of the bridge, unfortunately. And you can see how close the river is. So this is one of the smaller weirs on this section of the river trend that we've got to go across. Um, I don't know if the camera's doing any justice, but there's quite a lot of the volume of water going through there so uh, we're going to come up from this way so we're going against the flow in my mind that's better but uh, at the moment it's still too much for us to pass let's just put a mink up that was a mink boo boo that was a mink I stand still and that's the area, you can see the flow. Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, Tuesday the 18th and can you see us smiling? Do you know why? We've just had a text message from one of the boaters by the lock. It looks like they're going to open the lock. The Whitchurch Lock? No. So, no. Whitchnor. Whitchnor. So um, we're going to um, trundle on down there. It's about a mile away and uh, more up and join the queue. There's about seven boats already waiting to go through, but the lock, it's, it's only a single lock and it's quite fast, so any sort of uh, jam will be clear fairly quickly. We hope. We <laughs> hope. I and mean, I think the real um, queues are probably going to be when we get to like Fradley a lot of people are going to be in the same position as us of needing to take on water because we're running low we've been very careful with what we're using so uh oh, yeah. yeah we just have to be prepared for some waiting but you know we're feeling optimistic yeah. getting excited then we're getting ready to be on our way <laughs> on our way now where are those life jackets it's, yeah <laughs> check the anchor let's go <laughs> We're off. We're off. 
I don't know if you can tell, but as we're leaving for the first time, the A38, which is to our left canal um, towpath side, is at a sandstone. So um, I guess it's the one and only time the narrowboat goes faster than the car or the lorry. We're trying not to feel too smug. And we're trying not to wave at them as we go past. <laughs> Can you tell we're excited? Relieved. Relieved, yeah. So we are actually starting to run out of things. Um, the water's um, we've been very careful with and yeah. uh, the toilet cassettes need emptying now. So um, we're quite pleased that we're on our way. So we've actually got down to bridge 42, we've got one boat ahead of us, when that goes through the bridge it's straight into the lock, we'll move down the lock landing and we will then proceed up onto the river. We're still smiling. Everyone, everyone is smiling. We're so happy. People that have come through, people that are waiting to go up, we're all pretty relieved. So everybody that's had five days wait this side, like us, has had the same wait the other side. Um, they're all... Um, happy to be passing us. So I'm just looking because the lock is calling those ahead of us for something. We'll see what's going on. Let's go see what's going on.
here we are wearing our lovely life jackets. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure if we're going to need them, but you never know, and uh, we've got them anyway, so better safe than sorry. Definitely. The, um, apparently, the boat is coming down the other way. Um, I was saying that the river is still showing orange, it's not showing green, so that means still go with caution. Yeah. Um, this is the quiet part of the river. Um, we're coming to the first weir soon on the left hand side, um, just passing a more boat, so. Uh, we can speed up a bit now. So we're, we're out of Witch Nor Lock now. Yeah. But the next thing is, <laughs> uh, there is a, a bridge where you can only pass on one side of it. It's only safe to pass on one side. Um, unfortunately, it's blocked by a, a boat that's across the whole uh, width of the river at present. Yeah. There's one uh, boat trying to pass. Uh, and we're just, well, just hovering really and waiting. Uh, hopefully the, the boat will be cleared. I think he's uh, trying to push the boat. That's what he's trying to do. Oh, okay. Um, the one that's going under is trying yeah, to push it. He's trying to push okay. that one out of the way. After many attempts, the boat manages to push past the other one. And then having tied a rope to it, uh, is able to pull it clear of the bridge. We waited for the traffic that had built up behind to clear, and then it was our turn to move forwards. Well, that was uh, exciting, wasn't it? <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> um, we don't know what the guy did. He's actually in front of us at the moment, but he ended up broadside across the, the river. And, um, and then had a knock on effect, other boats couldn't move, and then they got uh, well, there were two boats stuck together really at the yeah. bridge, weren't there? So he's, he's in front of us, but only going very slow. So whether he's got an engine problem, that I don't know. Um, he, in fact, he's stopped. The thing is, we want really to keep the momentum up, don't we, as we go past the big yeah. weir. So we're hanging back to make sure we've got a clear run at uh, run at the big weir. We stopped opposite the big weir. Some why I don't know. Got boat behind us as well. We couldn't slow down to help or we would both have been in trouble so we powered on past. Looking back, we could see that the person in charge of the boat had managed to bring it under control again and they had pulled him behind us.
We were both relieved to have left the river sections of the Trent behind for the time being. We stopped at this water point, and while we were filling, we decided it was high time we should put the kettle on again. Thanks for watching, see you next time.